Hatshepsut clearly had enemies, and their enmity may have extended to those closest to her. The names of her architect, Senenmut, and her daughter, Neferure, vanished at roughly the same time as Hatshepsut's. I'm still very much on the fence about the relationship between Senenmut and Hatshepsut. It's so unusual, there is no precedent for it, and I don't really know uh, where to put it. Dr. Kara Cooney has gone to meet a Spanish team at Deir el Bari. They're investigating Senenmut's tomb. Their theory is that Senenmut and Hatshepsut were lovers, and that their relationship was simply too shocking for ancient Egyptian society. I'm looking at the connection between Senenmut and Hatshepsut mm -hmm. and what their relationship uh, was, which Egyptologists we, are always we are wondering. The, we, we are the key of the... Right, we have, here we have the key of the... For archaeologist Dr. Francisco Martin Valentin, the first clue is that Senenmut, the master architect, built his own tomb directly under Hatshepsut's mortuary temple. Here's her mortuary temple, here's the tomb right behind yeah, us. They couldn't be closer. In ancient Egyptian religion, the trip to the afterlife was considered a sacred journey. There was no higher compliment than to share that journey with another. But for a pharaoh to travel to the afterlife with a commoner would have been unthinkable. The Spanish team has found compelling evidence that the queen and her architect may have had more than just a working relationship. But Kara will have to travel deep underground to see it. It's smaller than I thought it would be. Yes. Look at this. I'm sorry. You are welcome. Anyway. So this is the first astronomical ceiling yes, in, in all existence. Yes, exactly. In and the world. The only in the world. This is like the 16th chapel. It is. Better than this. It's an incredible find. The world's first astronomical chart. But there's another surprise within this chamber. An inscription. One that reads very much like a love poem.